Welcome back, Hustle Tribe. Today we're talking about the 203K loan and how it works, but I'm gonna cover two parts that I gave you a brief synopsis on because they deserve its own video. Now, a lot of lenders aren't gonna give you this information just due to the fact that they don't want you to know or they don't know themselves. Either way, I wanna make sure you're covered and you're protected because I want you to close on this loan. Let's do it. Follow me to office, Hustle Tribe. Welcome back, Hustle Tribe. Today we're talking about 203K loans. Specifically, we're gonna touch on bids, and contractors. The reason I put a dollar sign is because this is where the money actually leaves your account. Well, not your account, but this is what they can costs barely most of the money. See that, so. Okay, you can't, I just can't see. There's actually a dollar sign right here and right here. Instead of putting an S, I put dollar signs because my joke, you know, this is where the money comes out. Okay, <laughs> okay. you guys didn't find that funny. All right, the first thing you have to do is plan out your project. Once you go into the house, you want to have some idea of what you need, to, what you're going to fix, what you want here, what you want there. If you want to remove the walls, you have to come up with your own plan. So this is your plan. Or if you're married, your wife's plan <laughs> or husband, whoever, whoever really does the cooking plans the house. I'm telling you, it, nine, nine times out of 10, it's the person who does the cooking because they have the ideas of how they want the kitchen. So they make up the plans. That's it is what it is. Um, now the reason you're probably like Malcolm, why am I planning? Isn't that what the contractor does? No, you have your plan, and the contractor is going to come in and tell you if it's possible and what he thinks. You want his opinion, but you also want your own or her opinion. Contractors can be females, but you want your own because if you don't give them guidance, they'll tell you to redo the whole house. Everything's wrong. Take this down. Take this down. And you're going to be way over the simple $35,000. You know, being a much higher 203K loan. So you want your plan and then have the contractor come in and tell you his ideas and try to meet in the middle. Now, the reason why it's an S is because you want more than one contractor. I tell you guys in every video, every time I'm flipping a house, every time I'm doing any kind of work, I always get at least three contractors. Um, if you're watching Hustle Tribe, the last flip that we did, we actually bought about 12 or 13 contractors just yeah. because we wanted to make sure we found the right one. We like, had about three of them coming at the same time yeah, trying it, to outbid each it, other. It, it, was, it was real. I had them bidding like it was an auction house. I'll do it. I do it. I do it. This number, this number, it was, it was, but it was fun. I should have did a video on that. That would have been funny. All right. Now, the contractor, I told you this last time, they have to be licensed. I didn't stress this one. And insured. Michelle, can you tell us what insured means? Insurance? <laughs> yeah. That means if something happens, they're going to cover it, not you. Do How much are the, the policies usually? It varies depending on the size of the job. Okay. But, um... If anything happens, they get sued. You don't want to get sued, especially when you don't live in a house yet and it's work that's being done. So make sure the license is insured because the bank is going to check. If the bank finds out that your contractor isn't licensed and insured, you know what happens to your contractor? Put the X through, put the Donald Trump, you're fired! That's exactly what happens. They're not going to accept it. So you want to make sure that the license is insured. No DIY, you're not doing it yourself. Um, there is typically they don't allow you to do it if you're um oh my microphone. Hold on, quick commercial break. <laughs> typically they don't allow you to do it if even if you are a contractor and you're licensed and you have a public business, typically most lenders don't like you doing your own work. Typically, sometimes they might be like, you know what, he's licensed, this is his full time job, we'll accept it. Also, yes, I, I just see, just call myself full-time contractors they don't like part-time contractors they don't like weekend contractors they want full-time contract this is what i do i've been doing it for the last 15 years i'm licensed i'm insured here's my documents they usually like that they usually like an outside business that's not the borrower okay also you have to remember to like follow, subscribe, put some stuff in the comment sections. Let me know you guys are filming my videos because it's the real Mr. Marcel and I'm doing a lot of 203K loans to help you guys out. Then a bid, but as you can see, I put an S here, put the dollar sign. We get in bids. Now, the reason what, well, first of all, I'm gonna explain what a bid is. A bid is pretty much the contractor's estimate. He's coming to the house, so the contractor's estimate. This is, let's say he estimates 10,000. 
He's gonna say ten thousand is uh, normally it would cost ten thousand dollars to do all this work that you're doing, but I'll give you a bid for nine thousand. So you're saving a thousand dollars if you use me. Then the next contract, this is contract the one. The next contract will come in and say my estimate. I don't know why my markets keep dying. It's fifteen thousand, but you know what? My bid is only ten thousand. So if you come with me, you're saving five thousand. And the last guy, Four thousand. Well, no, five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. The last guy, contractor number three, will go, my estimate of this work is only 9000 And you know what? My bid will be 9000 So then, this is where, this is why I say get more than one, because they all have different prices, and this is their bid. So it's pretty much their estimate, their bidding for the job. That's why it's called bid. And the reason why I put a dollar sign is because you're talking about money, so it's bids. It's more than one. Mm -hmm. Now... After you look at the estimate, you have to make sure you talk to your contractor and say, is this official? Are you sure this is what it's going to cost? Are you sure this is the work you're going to do? Are you sure? And you have to stress this. And the reason why you're stressing this is because once you accept one, say you're like, okay, this guy is saying 10,000 work and he's giving me 9,000. This guy said 9,000, give me 9,000. Uh, maybe they've been lying or maybe one. So he said, like, you know what? Lowest, highest, middle. I'll take contractor one. And then I like the way he, he he said his bid was. I don't know. Whatever. So you tell contractor one that, hey, contractor, have you ever done a 203K loan? Most of them haven't done it yet. And then you're going to stress to them the reason why I need you to understand and what's so important is once I submit this bid to the appraisal, to the bank, the bank is going to then have the appraisal company give us comps based off the work that you're saying will be done. So what happens is they're going to estimate the, they're going to increase the value based off of how much they think it will increase the house. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, for example, I'm going to break it down one more time. The house is currently worth 200000 The comps in the area say the house is worth two eighty. The work is only costing you 10000 The appraiser is going to come to the house and say, okay, you're doing the bathroom over, you're doing the kitchen over. Based off of the comps in the area, that will raise your house by $60,000. So this is the estimate because the work hasn't got done yet. So the bank is going to say, okay, appraisal, we'll pretend the work is already done. So now this house will be valued at $260,000. Now, if your contractor doesn't understand that once this bid gets done, there's no taking it back. Because if he tries to change it officially, like officially try to change it, the bank has the right to say, you know what? Now we have to redo this whole file. So you might be almost at closing and the bank can say, you know what? The contractor changed the bid. He wants more money. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mr. Contractor, we have to review this whole file now. We have to see if we even want this file. So make sure you stress to your contractors, hey, once you give me this bid, do not change it. This is it. I submitted it. It's already in underwriting. The appraisal already got done. He already reviewed it. You cannot change this bid. You can't say you need more money. You can't say you can't do the job because it's done. The check is getting written out to you and you have to complete it. Here's our contract. You have to complete it. Make sure you have a contractor with the lawyer. Make sure with the lawyer. Make sure you have a contract with the contractor. Make sure because you don't want him to say he can't do the job now. He doesn't want to do it. Blah, 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 blah. You don't want any changes during this process because it's going to set the file totally bad. The bank can refuse the file, make you redo it. It's a lot. It's, it gets chaotic. And this is where people lose money and they lose time because their contractors aren't understanding how the 203K process works. And a lot of loan officers don't go into it and tell you all this. So because a lot of them don't even know themselves. So how can they teach you when they don't know it? So now you have the knowledge. So be prepared for this for the bids and making sure it's official, make sure your contract is licensed and insured. Whew, that was a lot of talking, guys. <laughs> but if you like this video, you know what to do. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Now, when going back into it. So now you got your bid is done. The con well, you got your contract and the bid is done. The bank likes it. The appraisal is done. Um, and underwriting says, you know what? The file is fine. Let's move forward. Now you're like, oh my God, the file moves forward, blah, blah, blah. We're going to get new documents and then we're going to go to push it to final underwriting where we get the clear to close. After the clear to close, when we close, 
the bank. Can you see that? Yes. Bank. I'll draw a little money sign. That's my bank house. <laughs> I'm not a drawer. The <laughs> bank <laughs> <laughs> writes a check to the contractor that at closing, as long as you're under 35000 So once that's finished, that's when he does the work. You're happy. You move in. Nice and simple. Well, it's not really simple, but you get the gist. Mm -hmm. All right. If you guys have any other questions, make sure you put it in the comment section. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. It's the real Mr. Marcel, a.k.a. your favorite loan officer. Over and out. <laughs> I don't know what the peace signs are do. Over and out. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested in learning more about real estate or mortgages, check out the other videos on my channel.